What's going on everybody? Today is a new video for, you know, transferring your old hard drive to a new SSD. It's really simple and easy. Now for me, I really use a lot of SSDs from Samsung because they come with the software you need that you can just migrate all your information from your hard drive to your SSD. It's real simple and easy. And you're also going to need a, a USB to SATA cable. Now these run like a good maybe 10, 15 bucks on Amazon. It might be cheaper now, you know, you never know. But you get the SSD. It comes with the software you need, so you install the software onto your laptop. So pretty much it'll take about a good 5 to 10 minutes to install the software. And once you do that, once you hook up your SSD and put your uh, USB to SATA cable, it's going to ask you clone your HDD to your SSD. So that's going to take about a good roughly 2 to 3 hours, maybe, depending on if you got USB 3.0 or you know Thunderbolt or anything like that. That's, that's how long it's going to take. It's going to take some while, so just take your time with that. But once you do that, you really just have to replace the uh, the hard drive with the SSD. That's real simple and easy. So, for right now, I'm about to show you that process. Go and take a look at it right now. Now, for the most part, you got to take the bottom of the laptop off. Now, some laptops are different. Some laptops have a section where you just have the RAM, and then you have the hard drive section. Now, in this HP right here, I'm upgrading. Now, you got to take the whole back off, which is simple and easy. It's just still, you know, like I said, some laptops are different than others. Now to complete this task, now you need a flat, uh, what they call it, a Phillips head screwdriver. Some people say regular screwdriver, I say a Phillips head screwdriver. And you pretty much screw the hard drive out, disconnect it, and then put the SSD in there. Once you've finished cloning the uh, regular hard drive to the new SSD. Now like I said, that's going to take about 2-3 to three hours, depending on, like I said, if you're using USB 3.0, it might be a little less, but if you're using 2.0, I guarantee you're going to be waiting like at least 2, two hours to 3.5 hours. One thing that annoyed me about this HP uh, hard drive is that, that the case that it was in wasn't even completely metal. Like some hard drives that I've taken out, the whole case that you, that you put the hard drive in was metal. This one was like some silicone plastic or something like that and what made it a little frustrating to put it back in. But like I said, each hard drive manufacturer or co um, computer manufacturer does things differently. And this was a little bit annoying, but I still got the job done for the most part. And once you screw the hard drive back in place, you know, secure it, make things, everything snug a little tight. Not too tight where you can break the screw, but just tight enough where it's nice little snug. You just pretty much put everything back and put the uh, top, well, the bottom part. I want to say the top, the top, the bottom part of the laptop back on and screw it right back in. And for the most part, you're pretty much done. And this will make your computer a little bit faster. It's, I wouldn't say super fast because depending on what kind of process you got and how much RAM you actually have in the computer, depends on all of that. And once you screw the bottom back on, your computer is much ready to go. Now, this is like at least a four-year-old laptop, so I'm not expecting this to be the new video editing rig that I want. This is just pretty much something I just wanted to upgrade and show you guys how easy it is just to replace your hard drive with an SSD. And just to make your computer a little bit more snappy, a little bit more faster, just a little bit more future-proof, you want to call it. And now, for the most part, it's pretty much set and ready to go. Now, you can upgrade the RAM, make your computer a little bit more faster. Now, this computer I just used, the HP Pavilion 17-inch that I used. It only has 4 gigs of RAM, so I'm definitely going to put at least 8. Now, this ain't going to be like my main laptop. This is like my media consumption laptops. I really don't like small screen laptops. Now, they're good when it comes to portability, when you go to traveling, you go to these little events. You got a nice little 13-inch laptop. You can pop open and do what you need to do. For me, I like to consume media with a big screen. 17.3-inch screen. I love those screens. That's why I'm kind of disappointed. A lot of the uh, manufacturers are getting away from those screens, but it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was really informative when it comes to learning how to do these things. You know, it's real simple. And easy. You just got to do it a couple times, then you have it down pat like anybody else. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, share this video. And also, be safe out there.